Hello everyone and welcome to the 28th part of the crash course series in which we are discussing expected and important questions for environmental science entrance examination. So if you are preparing for any of the environmental science entrance examination then this course will be very helpful for you. So you can check the previous lessons in the description below. So now get ready with pen and paper because we are going to do numericals from the energy and environment unit. So let's check it out. The first question for which the numerical we are going to do today is in front of your screen. The question is, in an ideal magnetohydrodynamic generator which is called as MHD, yes MHD not MSD, the velocity of a fuel gas is increased by a factor of 1.5. So, it is that the velocity of fuel gas is increased by a factor of 1.5 in the MHD and the magnetic field is increased by a factor of 2. That means the magnetic field is doubled. And the question where it is asking here is that by what factor the maximum power produced from the MHD generator would increase or decrease. So let us see how to solve this kind of problem. So to solve this kind of question you have to remember only one formula that is this one. So here they claim it dangerous but it is very simple formula. So the power generated by an ideal MHD generator is given by 1 by 4 sigma multiplied by u square multiplied by b square multiplied by a and small d. So what are these things? So we will know one by one. So a ka matlab hai plate area and the distance between two plates used in the magnetohydrodynamic generator is known as d that is denoted by small d and b what is b? b is the flux density or it is also called as the magnetic flux density and u that is a small u square which is used in the formula is the average gas velocity. So gas ka velocity ko u se denote kiya jata hai. Similarly, gas ka conductivity ya fir electrical conductivity of conducting fluid is denoted as sigma. So this is the formula and now let's see how to solve this question. So hamare samne ab question a gaya hai aur formula bhi samne hai to just hume dekhna hai ki kis tarah ise solve karte hain. To the question mein jo diya gaya hai usse related ye sara humko use nahi karna hai just we will use the magnetic field. So magnetic field what it is given it is given that it is increased by a factor of 2. That means B jo hai yahan pe 2 square usko hum lik lenge. Similarly what is given it was given that the velocity of fuel gas that is U. U is increased by a factor of 1.5. So U jo hai 1.5 usko hum lik lenge aur uska square kar lenge. So now simply we have to multiply this 1.5 whole square multiplied by 2 square that is the answer will be 9 times yes the 9 means the 9 times the initial power will increase if the magnetic field is increased by twice and velocity of fuel gas is increased by 1.5. So if you know this formula you can do this simple question and even if all these things are given you can get the power. So let's see one more numerical from this energy and environment chapter. The next question is in front of your screen and the question is a tidal estuary of tidal range 5 meter has an area of water trapped of 10 km square. So it is telling that the area of water that is trapped is in the area of 10 km square. So it is telling that if you assume the density of water as 10 cube kg per meter cube that is 10,000 kg per meter cube and g that is acceleration due to gravity is 9.8 meter per second square then what will be its maximum theoretical energy available per cycle. So again we will see one more beautiful formula to solve these kind of question. Yes, to solve the tidal energy question we need to remember, you should remember and you must remember this formula that is E is equal to half A rho g h square. So ye rho g kya g hai? Isko dekhte hai hum. So H here that means H is the vertical tide range that is the tidal vertical range. A is the horizontal area of barrage basin that is the A capital A. Next comes the rho. So rho is the density of water which is given by 1025 kg per cubic meter. Sometime it will be also given in the question. Otherwise you will take this value that is 1025 as the density of water sea water. Next comes the Z that is earth's gravity that is 9.8 meter per second square. So let's see kis tarah hum is sawal ko solve karenge. To ye jo question tha hamare paas hai aur hamare paas uska formula bhi hai. To we will put the values one by one. To find the maximum theoretical energy that is E we will write first E in the left hand side is equal to half 
मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ए ए इज वर्ट वी हैव लर्न नाउ ए एरिया है तो एरिया जो दिया गया है वो है टेन किलोमीटर स्क्वायर सो टेन किलोमीटर स्क्वायर को हमें मीटर स्क्वायर में करना पड़ेगा सो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई टेन इंटू टेन टू द पावर सिक्स फॉर द एरिया टू कन्वर्ट इट इन मीटर स्क्वायर देन वॉट यू हैव टू डू वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई रो सो रो हियर इट इज गिवेन एज टेन क्यूब यस हियर इट इज गिवेन रो इट इज गिवेन एज टेन क्यूब सो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई इट देन वॉट यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई जी जी इज नाइन पॉइंट एट सो वी हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई इट बाई नाइन पॉइंट एट सो हियर आई एम डूइंग रफली बट यू शुड राइट इन योर नोटबुक देन नेक्स्ट कम्स द एच सो एच हमें कितना लेना है एच दिया गया है फाइव मीटर दैट इज द रेंज टाइडल रेंज सो एच वॉट यू हैव टू डू इज फाइव मीटर स्क्वायर यू विल सिंपली मल्टीप्लाइड बाई ट्वेंटी फाइव सो सॉल्विंग एवरीथिंग यू विल गेट द वैल्यू एज ट्वेल्व पॉइंट टू सिक्स इंटू टेन टू द पावर इलेवन जून सो दैट विल बी द आंसर आफ्टर कैलकुलेटिंग दिस वन एंड लेट सी वेदर इट इज देयर इन द ऑप्शन और नॉट येस इन द क्वेश्चन ऑप्शन नंबर सी इट वॉज गिवेन सो ऑप्शन नंबर सी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर Moving on to one more numerical. So again, we will do the same process. We will read the question and then know the formula and then solve it. So this question is a single solar cell on illumination by insulation of about 800 watt per meter square. So this is telling about the solar panel, the energy due to sun. So it produces a voltage of 0.5 volt and a current up to 2 ampere. And the question is telling that the efficiency of the solar cell is 12.5 percentage. and we have to find the area of the solar cell so how to solve this is very simple if we know the efficiency of solar cell we will be able to solve this kind of questions so here comes the formula to calculate the efficiency of solar cell so i have told you in my previous video that to find the efficiency of any motor or any engine the formula is same that is output by input and multiplied by 100% will give the efficiency so here in this case also same formula will be used but one thing we have to remember that if the input power is given in watt per meter square we have to multiply it with area so why we have to multiply the watt per meter square into area i will let you know because the power is mostly given in watts but when it is given in meter square watt per meter square we have to multiply its area because meter square meter square will cancel out and we will get only watt so that's the main motto for multiplying the area So now let's see how we will solve this question which is given in this video. So here we have the question, we have the formula and also the options given in the question. So now let's solve one by one. The thing is we have to find the efficiency first to know the area. So how to calculate the power that is the output power. So we will write power output is equal to the formula is V multiplied by I that is voltage multiplied by the current. So here the voltage is given as 0.5 volt so we will write 0.5 multiplied by the current given that is 2 ampere so we will multiply by 2 and the answer we will get as 1 so 1 is what 1 is the output power so keep remember this one so efficiency is given as 12.5 and 12.5 is equal to output which we have calculated now that is 1 and divided by that is the watt per meter square that is 800 watt per meter square which is given the input power multiplied by the area so area is how much we have to find it out that is x so by solving this we will get x is equal to 0.01 0.01 ka matlab ye hota hai 10 to the power minus 2 meter square so let's see whether it is there in option or not so yes in option number d we have the answer as 10 to the power minus 2 meter square which is the area of the solar cell so let's see what we have learned today in the class so these are the things which we learned today let us note it down once again we learned about how to calculate the power generated by the mhd generator that is p max is equal to 1 by 4 sigma u square b square ad we did one numerical on tidal energy and the formula is half a rho g h square and also we found out one the efficiency of solar cell that is output by input multiplied by 100 or if the power is given in watt per meter square we have to multiply it with area and we also learned that p is equal to vi in this formula which will be used so i hope you like this note it down in your notes and if you want to see more video like this then don't forget to like share and subscribe the channel if you haven't subscribed till now so see you in our next video